There's a diesel generator on the property of on the property of some house that I pass every day. I know because those noxious poisons enter my body every time I forget not to breathe when I get near there. And so, aside from wondering why I'm walking down the wrong street right now, I often wonder why why we're allowed to do things like this, you know? Uh, the fact that you have to have an argument about something like that means there's something wrong with it, right? Things are either right or they're wrong. People argue about the rightness or wrongness of them because we make adjustments in life for how much we're willing to be right or wrong, but things are either right or wrong if you have a clear moral conscience. Now, you're arguing with me now in your head, but let me make my point really clear. If you have a question about the morality of something, then there's something wrong with it, to a certain degree, in one way or another, right? In some manner of thinking and in some manner of results. Otherwise, you wouldn't have a question about it. With issues such as poison, it's really easy to win those arguments. The problem is that people will say, well, nobody notices. Isn't this a cute little place? Or people don't notice enough because it doesn't cause enough harm. Imagine that. It doesn't cause enough harm. Cigarettes kill people. They're full of radioactive material, carbon monoxide, burning plastics, other toxins like rat poison, car smoke. But they don't harm people in, in a ready fashion that should make us go, oh, right? Somebody comes into the train station with a knife and they start swinging it around. You can bet your bottom dollar that everybody is going to jump out of the way and they're all going to report to the police and they're all going to start screaming and yelling and somebody's going to try to wrestle that guy to the ground. But if a guy walks into a room with a lit cigarette, the most that happens is people walk away or they tell him he can't smoke there because of the deadly effects of what he's doing. But nobody has a sense of moral outrage. Nobody feels any great fear as we do when somebody's swinging a knife around. But the guy swinging the knife actually does less jam damage if he never touches you. The guy smoking has definitely damaged you by some small degree. And depending on which time you grew up in, you were exposed to that kind of damage to a much heavier extent. Thus, people die of secondhand smoke. So when you have a question about something, it's because you know there's something wrong with it. And when it's something like diesel engines burning in a neighborhood, all you would need is a bunch of kids to start playing near that for the level of wrongness to increase very quickly. And then the question would be, what should we do about the kids playing there? Oh, simply move them, right? But what if there's a playground near something like that? What if there's a community near a diesel generator that pumps out tons of diesel uh, effluent, right? It's all a matter of relativity, right? But that doesn't diminish the fact that it's wrong.